What's going on everybody? Rob here, jack of all trades, master of none. As you can see, I'm trying to work on uploading another video about my red tail catfish catman do. I wanted to show you my setup now. If you've been following me for a while, I've been on YouTube for like five years. It took me five years to get where I'm at. I'm no no like overnight sensation on YouTube or nothing like that. I just put videos up about me working with my fish, working on projects around the house, helping somebody out. I put those kind of videos up, so I'm not like one of these surfboarders, skateboarders, or nothing like that. But me, myself, I'm 46 years old, and right now my monthly YouTube check is $300 a month. I'll show you that. But it is awesome to me. I love the feeling of actually helping people. I've got some awesome helpful comments. Of course you get the meathead comments also. But uh, I am I still do not have all the premium, prime, premier stuff that I'm working on for YouTube. So I don't think you have to. Right now my camera is an Elf 1... No, a Elf 360 I finally upgraded to. A Elf 360 I picked it up for 209 When I started my YouTube channel, I was using a flip camera. Remember those flip camcorders? I used that and I picked it up for 25 bucks from a pawn shop. And that's actually what I started my YouTube channel with. A big tower a computer with a big monitor. And, and that's what I started with. Believe it or not, right now, I was just complaining, not complaining, but telling my wife I need to upgrade. My laptop that I'm still using is years old and it's costing me $135 for my laptop that I'm still using today. Of course, I ran out of memory because now I'm doing full HD video and I used to do just standard video because I'm like, standard video don't make a difference between full HD and standard other than full HD takes longer to upload and takes more space. Guess what? It really does make a difference. I got to the point where I, people were telling me, dude, you should shoot in HD. HD. So that's why I'm shooting full HD video. But I'm going to show you my laptop, show you how I'm doing it now. But it grew to this for me. I didn't start out like this. I just wanted to let you know. I started out with a $25 camcorder and a, a desktop computer, old desktop computer that I had. And, uh, and so right now I'm sitting here, as you can see, I'm sitting here typing. That's a $15 keyboard. And then there's my laptop over there. That's a four terabyte hard drive right now. That's a $135 laptop right here. Okay. I do have it plugged into my TV, but it's only a TCL TV is what I have it plugged into. I finally broke down this year is my first year. I actually gave up my big tube TV. I had a 36 inch tube TV and I finally gave it up. I found this for $400 and I bought the $100 for five year insurance plan. But look at my light stand. My light stand is just, uh, what is this, an $8 work light? Let me go this way. An $8 work light is my light stand. An $8 work light on my camera tripod. And this is my YouTube quote unquote studio that I'm sitting here using to upload videos and with this little quote unquote studio that I have it's bringing me $300 a month so I try to tell people all the time it's not going to be an overnight success no you can't put one video up and say oh my god I'm gonna make so much money off of this because you now uh, you, uh, Google changed for their AdSense. You have to put an AdSense on your YouTube account, but you need at least 10,000 views. But don't think 10,000 views like, oh my God, I can't get 10,000 views. I have basic ladies that are older than me that I follow because I help them out on YouTube. And they're already seeing income. No, it's not much. You, you, I have a set to pay out. I don't know if they changed it at $100. You got to hit $100 for that month for them to pay you out the 15th of the next day. But I have ladies at that $100 threshold now that started out and they're just documenting their family. But if you start now, at least within five years or whatever, you could build your videos. And sometimes you catch a good one. Like I caught a, a car accident. I always got my camera with me and everything. And, and I had 8,000 views on that one video overnight. So, you know, there's ways to market them also. I'll get into that. But you too can do this. I try to tell everybody. I try to tell all my kids, my nephews, my nieces. Start a YouTube channel now because it will grow to something bigger. Either way, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye-bye. Okay, this is Rob here, Trev2323. 23. That's me right there. Look at that good-looking, handsome guy. Either way, I've been on here since 2009. I got 636 videos up right now.
This is last month of 2017. My watch time is 275,000 minutes. But look at this, average view duration is two minutes and 14 seconds. You know, my last month before this average view duration was uh, two minutes and 53 seconds. Okay, but I had 122,000 views last month, which your estimated revenue fluctuates a little bit by the 15th of the month. But for last month, it was $342. Then it goes your analytics, 394. Uh, my likes are down from the month previous. This is the month previous. My dislikes were up, so a lot of more people, my comments were up, shares were up. These are when people add my videos in their playlist, and it's cool because I still get paid from that. And my subscribers for the month was only 152 for that was down. Now, right here is my number one video watch was my little giant review. Re uh, repair and dupla color, main supports on a house, Ford vet selector, red tail catfish, bypassing the vet's alarm system, refrigerator, constantly beeping, replacing the brake pads, lock cylinder remover, and how to get rid of grubs for 10 years. Those were my most watched videos for last month. So either way, I mean, I did want to show you that, yes, there is a way to make money on YouTube. And it took me a while, but I am doing it now.